Hello guys, I hope you had a good half term. Right, so for DT this week, we want you looking at making one of these. So this is either a stomp rocket or a blow rocket. What we're gonna show you how to make these in a minute. But it basically consists of two tubes. The launcher, which goes inside the rocket. Now, you can make one based on a real sort of spacecraft like this, the Saturn V, or you can just come up with your own designs. Here's a different style with just a nice sort of decoration around the side. Um, another one here. We want you experimenting with um, different fins on the side. Um, we did a few with wings across the side, things like that, and see how far you can get these things to fly. Okay, we're going to take you now through the making process. Okay, to make this, you are gonna need some scissors, a ruler, some sellotape or masking tape, and paper. Now, like I said, we're going to make a launcher. This is a tube rolled around a large pen and the rocket, which is again also rolled around the pen. You actually roll it around the launcher and the pen. This is how it works. Off it goes. Whoosh. Here are some of the designs we came up with, but we want to see what designs you can come up with. Now, first thing you're going to do is have a sort of test run with the sizes to start with, come up with some sort of design. Now remember your design's going to link back on itself when you roll it around the pen. Now, the method for making this we've all used before, you've done it in the workshop. You take some sellotape, you stick it, so the sellotape at the moment is sticking downwards. Then turn the whole thing up so the sellotape is now facing upwards. Get something round, we used a board marker. So you want something a little bit bigger than just a pencil. As it rolls on, that last bit of sellotape now wraps around it. Now we found with the launcher, you want to roll it around on itself a few times. We also found that if we put some sellotape around the end of the launcher as well, it didn't get that soggy. Now for the rocket itself, you wanna keep the rocket nice and light, so you don't want as many rolls. So have a test run a couple of times with some scrap bits of paper. Now if you look, we're rolling the rocket around the launcher as well, and you don't wanna make this that tight. You want it to be a sort of a fit that will fly off the rocket too tight and it won't launch. Okay, so there we go, taking the two apart. Now you need to close one end of the rocket, otherwise the air's just gonna go through, so it needs to be sealed on one end. And again, off it goes. Now, we made a slightly more complicated one here. So with a rocket, you've got the initial problem of getting into orbit. Um, one of the things you could look up here is, when are we actually in space? What do we consider to be space? There's a line, begins with a K, you could look that up. So I've rolled this around, and with my design here, I've planned it out in a bit more detail so it all matches up as it goes around. A lot easier to um, color this in before you roll it up, obviously. Now I'm gonna make some fins here to keep the thing aerodynamic. One of the things the rockets have to do, they're inherently an unstable design. They're very aer aerodynamic, but not that good. They don't have wings to control where they fly. So if you want a straight flight path, you need something to help the airflow as it goes around the body. Now, I played around with fins, but what I actually found worked best was just making these tube sort of shapes. With this um, launcher here, my son made this one, and he wanted to make it look like there were flames coming out the bottom of the rocket. There it goes, a nice launch. So, have fun, see how far you can get your rockets to fly.